shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. All right. Asterian. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Goodbye. I don't have much to say. Uh, Lizelle. Chatter already, Tusky. You look so unusual. Because Yankee are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. You want to be my first? <laughs> I know of Gith Yankee, but I've never met one. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. <laughs> As if your upturned bat snout was any better. Better is an opinion, <laughs> but mine is certainly more economical, disciplined, dignified. Do you know much about mind flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Is that bad? <laughs> that doesn't sound great. <laughs> um, that's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed? This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Thank you, Tuttle, for a hundred bits. Thank you so much. I'd like you to join me. You've no room. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Um, all right. We need Shadowheart. For perception. I think we're getting rid of the rogue. I'm sorry. Speak. Okay, uh, how do I, how do I, oh, I have to talk to him, okay. Need something? Yes. I need you to stay away from bears, sir. I saw that video. I don't want any of that shenanigans up in here, okay? I think it's better you stay here in camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. I can't wait for someone to make a five-party character, a five-party mod, or five-member party mod, or a six-member party mod. Speak. That way I can have all my companions at once. 
I'd like you to join me. It is done. Oh, there already is? Ooh. There is one that just needs an update. Because I don't want to have to choose. It's like, ah. But then if you install that mod, you have to install a second mod that increases the number of enemies everywhere. So that way, the combat stays difficult. So you, need, you would need both to keep it balanced. Otherwise, everything's balanced around four right now. So if you have five, that unbalances everything. Which is, fi which is fine if you just want an easier playthrough. Lizelle, you are a fighter. Yeah. Ooh, she gets action surge. Action surges. So fighters, when they get to level 20, or I think it might even be before that, they can attack four times with their action. Four times. And then when you action surge, you get to attack four more times. <laughs> and then if you're hasted, you get to attack another, another time. <laughs> it's like, ah! So fighters get to just absolutely tear stuff up if that's what you want to do. They get more attacks than anybody. I'm the party leader. Wait, no. Thank you. I'm the party leader. Uh, Lizel, you can be up here. Wizard, you're always in the back. Wizard, there you go. Um, slow down. Where is? Let's talk to the mm. wizard guy and learn more about him. Is Yankee joining our company? Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. <gasps> there. I like him. He has a cat. Thank you, Gazzy, for that resub and rice. And a whole bunch of new followers. Welcome, guys. And Grantia and Resolve Turnip. Thank you guys so much. Don't stop there. You must have many stories about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Try peering into his mind. If he won't open up, you'll sneak in. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I have to roll a 16. Or it's not going to work. All right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fail. Try as you might to breach his inner thoughts, Gale swats your efforts away with infuriating ease. Didn't work. I have a very disciplined mind. Those tricks won't work on me. Please Sorry. don't try that again unless I invite you to. That's fair. Fine. Bye. He didn't like that. He was like, I'll remember that. I'm going to try during this playthrough to not save scum as much as possible. You know, might a little bit, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to live with my choices. Nazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Alarian is pretty smart, too. They usually make it so that failing a save isn't instantly all bad. Usually that means just alternate routes open up or alternate ways to solve stuff opens up. Uh, not like Co. Yeah, Co. Carnage is gonna like reload every every failed save. <laughs> it's the way that he is. What's the story with that old little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. 
Oh, the 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 extension's really nice. Oh, awesome. So y you can like see my character, my party members, and all the stuff in my journal and stuff. That's such a cool app. More RPGs need that so people can tune in and like tell exactly where the player is and what their class is and what their gear is and stuff. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? Um. <laughs> uh. You must have thought thoughts of, of our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gift crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. We can also, at any point, start a poll. Let's see what this does. So I think now you guys can type one, two, three, or four. Or, uh, you no, know, you vote in the app. You vote in the extension. You don't type it, you vote in the extension. Typing in chat does nothing. So there's a little pop-up that comes up and you guys can click options and then it like, vote for what option you want. So again, don't type it, just click the little thing in the chat and the on the video. That's awesome. What will you do if we manage actually manage to remove tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us to not stay together if we get a, get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Seems personal. I won't pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. How am I holding up in your estimations? You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly. But all things considered, you'll do. And wow. <laughs> I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. Jeez. <laughs> Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. <laughs> she is very rude. We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? If you're not comfortable, I won't press you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Goodbye. She, so far, the ladies in our party are both very sassy in very different ways. Uh, clean install or update for the launch version. You want to do a clean install and delete your early access save so it doesn't cause any issues. So if you're just, if you're uh, pl get planning on playing. Let's leave camp now. I like that they have that base, like, anywhere you want. And doesn't, like, you don't have to, like, rest to do it. That's very cool. Wait a minute. Who was that person there? All right, saving. You, not another step. Hear me, boss. Got company up here. Who the hell are you? What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? No, not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but you mentioned loot. And my loot goblin brain is going, mm, I need it. Ooh. Selfish cure! There might be survivors, yet you only think of loot! How dare you! Leave before I make you leave, and you feel the full might of the Paladin!
Oh no! Woo! Barely! <laughs> we did it! Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! Yeah, get out of here. Be quicker to kill them. Be quicker to kill. No, it's a lot quicker to not kill them. Peppers and fish. Guidance is OP. Make sure you have one character with it. Shadow Heart comes with it by default, but if you don't use her, then make sure someone else does. It's so good. In a D&D campaign, it's one thing you use all the time. Do we get st we still get XP for doing that, right? Yeah. So, uh, they made it so that if you bypass fights, you still get experience points. So if you you don't have to worry, like if you don't want to fight people and you bypass it, you still get XP. So that way you're rewarded, not punished for not murder hoboing everything. You don't get loot, but at this level they probably don't really have any good loot anyways, so it's not a, a big deal. A plaque. What does it say? Text is too faded. Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. Well, whoever they were worshipping, it's obviously not the head of the gods. That's curious. What? Ooh. A dirt mound. Thank you, Shadow Art, for passing that test. Seems simple enough. No use digging with my bare hands. Oh, I need a shovel. Do I have a shovel? I don't have a shovel. We gotta find a shovel. Yeah, so we we uh, did a perception check and found some hidden loot. Just gotta have uh, a shovel to get to it, though. Hmm. Another one! What's that? Ooh. Let's grab uh, the loot. Yeah, the uh, this game definitely has a lot of uh, Divinity Original Sin in its DNA because that's the, what they made before, and it works really well with uh, Baldur's Gate. I think it's the way it's the way that's going to make the most sense to merge the gameplay from the old game with modern uh, conveniences. And plus, I love Divinity Original Sin; it's a really fun series. So I still got to find a shovel to dig in there. Now, they said something about a crypt. A crypt probably has undead in it. A torch, rope, thieves' tools, dagger, Ooh. garlic, and corget. What's the other new series that's like Divinity? I don't know. I can't think of any. Divinity is Divinity and games like it are so rare and come out so rarely. They're just so much fun. That's why I am in such love with this game and games like it because they're so unique and what they are is very fun. And thank you uh Fierce Beast for that 69 month resub. Thank you uh for 69 months. That's nice. Thank you very much there. Very nice. Of all the amount of months you could be sub for, that's probably the nicest. Nice. What? Oh, God. Oh, God. I fell through the hole. Uh-oh. Oh lordy, I felt. Wait a minute. Someone's not here. Wait a minute. She's. What? Is she floating in the air? My faith will protect me. Uh, okay. We might have to reload. Okay, let's, uh. Okay, 
Okay, she fell there at the uh, when I reloaded. <laughs> okay. So is this a temporary bug? <laughs> this is a minor. Oh, there she goes. She's fine. Nothing a reload doesn't fix. Shadow heart. Well, we have quite a few enemies, so let's do our first spell. We will bless. Bless all of us. Ha! Ah. And you, ma'am, um, go behind this crate in case it provides cover. I don't know if it does. Bless is a very nice uh, buff spell. All right, be careful. That's definitely an oil barrel there. So we'll let our uh, wizard um, do a little fun with that. My path be true. Move here and go ahead and shoot with your crossbow. Boom! And then go ahead and in your turn. Oh, they're getting closer. Mr. Wizard, please firebolt the barrel. Oh, oh you killed her! No! Oh god, she was too close. Oops. That's fine. Now you need to move the hell back. Knight to King Five. This is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and. We'll help her up. And then we're going to shove that guy over that way. <laughs> yeah, stay in the fire. And I'm going to move slightly to the left. Now, Shadow Heart, I need you to fire bolts. Uh, KM, uh, F Eternal, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. I'm for the gift subs. Okay, go ahead and move about there. Go ahead and fire bolt. Oh, a full 10 damage too. Great. Good job. I move over so they can't snipe through the door. In your turn. Oh, missed. Thank God. <laughs> All right, you ma'am. Move over here. Do a second win. Oh wow, good heal. And you're gonna go ahead and end your turn right there. I don't wanna go out there with the fire. We'll let them come to us. <laughs> oh! Now you go ahead and Do a little... Where's your fire... There it is. Firebolt. Get him! Boom! Ha-ha! <laughs> Sizzled. 
Now move further to the left. Oop. We want you to not be hittable very easily, so move over there. Let's let this door do all the work for us. Okay, the fire dissipated, so we can now go out. That guy's pretty weak, so I'm going to move out here. I'm going to stand next to the wizard that's going to be standing next to me. By standing next to him, he'll have disadvantage on all his ranged attacks. And then if he moves away, I get to hit him for free. Oh, wait a minute. We need to take a potion first. There we go. So... Let's... Mm. Command heroism. Looks like potions are bonus actions, yes. Actually, let's do something a little safer. Let's go ahead and throw... Throw a hand axe... At. Okay, move over here a little bit. Go ahead and throw hand axe at that guy. So close. So close. And then move back. Let them come to us and group up as well. Ooh, she got hit. There's so many guys here. Okay, you need to move over here and firebolt that guy, get him down. Yes! Move over here in this corner. In turn. Woo! Ow! Okay, we're gonna have to go out there because they're starting to pick off our uh, our friends. So let's move and melee attack. We do four to thirteen. Get the wizard down. Okay, save against last right. Pummel attack. Got her! Up! Oh, one H one damage, jeez. I'm gonna action surge. You you gotta get her down. Go! There you go. Now you can move. And your turn there. See, we have 19 and 19. So, first. <laughs> 6 to 15 damage. So, if you max roll, you have a chance of. I love how these people have, like, proper names, too. You are a hamstring, which is not good. All right, we're going to protect ourselves with fuck cloud. And then go ahead and move it deeper in the fog cloud. Don't worry. The Paladin is coming to save you. Ah! Well, next turn. I will jump next to this person. Whee! So now they both have disadvantage on their range attacks. And if they move away, we get to hit them for free. He's 
not supposed to be able to attack in the fog cloud. They must have changed it. Really, you're not supposed to be able to hit stuff in there. You can't target them. All right, uh, let's do Firebolt. Missed, of course. And... Now, the way, the way it works in um, the board game with Fog Cloud is that anything in there is obscured, which means you can't see it. So you have to shoot blindly at something. Uh, so they must have changed it in the game a little bit, so it's not quite as good. So, we're blinded. Oh, we're blinded in here. Hamstrung. Yeah, so I guess it works mechanically a little bit different in, in this. That's okay. Got her! Oh, big hit! Ow! How could it last much longer? Okay, you. Go ahead and melee attack. On this guy, he's almost down. Good. Ah! Boom! Push him over there. For funsies, if it's free. Need to move out of there. Uh, need some guaranteed damage. So it's guaranteed to do one d four. So we might as we should probably just do all three on him. Torment. He still has one HP. <laughs> we got so many low rolls on the missiles. Damn. Don't waste the potion. Nothing will stand in my way. Let's protect the mage first by getting this guy down. Miss! Oh god. No. Critical miss at that. Well, son of a bitch. Woo. Woo. Okay, miss, miss. Okay, Shadow Heart, you have a 55% chance to do that. Spell is even worse, so go ahead and. They just have one, so just get him. Just hit him one, one damage. You missed. Go ahead and sh try shoving. Nope. <laughs> well, just stay there. Oh, she missed. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. okay go ahead and attack. Okay, one down. Shove him again. <laughs> nope. Okay. And turn. Bam! Dead. Good. And move over there. And your turn. Now it's time to smite this villain.
Yes! Good hit. Woo! Okay, wounds are down. Okay, move out of the fog cloud. 60% chance with Firebolt. Sacred Flame is 40, so... Hit him with the old Firebolt. Oh, max damage roll. Hell yeah. Not bad. Move back over here. Okay, ma'am. Finish him off. Yeah! We did it, chat! <laughs> that was... That was brutal. But, we got him. Now, before I do anything else... We short rest. <laughs> oh, a respite. Ah, wonders. Much better. I wish this game wasn't turn-based. It looks cool. It's cool because it's turn-based. Turn-based combat's amazing. Uh, there's too many games going real-time and not enough going turn-based anymore, so it's nice to have a turn-based game once in a while. Too easy. We're playing on the hardest difficulty. I've just, I have a lot of D&D experience, so I know the best strategies on how to, like, do fights like this. Leather armor. Bandit's key. Bottle. Uh, journey through the jungle. Simple robe. Quarterstaff. Scroll of Burning Hands. Hmm. Leather armor, short bow, dagger. I guess I'll take all of it. Simple toxin, short bow, torch, leather armor. Oh, there's a couple. There's two dead people in the doorway here. Leather gloves, leather boots, javelin, great club. And gold, these tools, dagger, short bow, leather armor. No magic gear and stuff, which is not uncommon this early. But let's take a little... Let's do a little inventory maintenance. All right, first of all... What's everyone wearing? Uh, medium armor. Medium armor. Medium armor. Leather armor. Uh, can you wear leather? I don't think you can. Um, I don't think mages are allowed to wear armor, because I think it disables their spellcasting. Pretty sure. Yeah, this menu is amazing. It's so good for multiple for management. Leather gloves provide both flexibility and protection. Okay, there... I have a rule about games where I control a party of characters. I get all the good loot first, and then they get the leftovers. Period. So I get the boots. Actually, they're already wearing boots. I already have leather boots. Never mind. I'll take the gloves. Yeah, so we have trickle-down um, equipmentomics. <laughs> They get whatever I don't want. Short bow. Zero to seven damage. I don't think I have any training in that. Two to seven. Can you use a range bow? I think you can. I don't think you want to, but you can if you really, really want to. You have a quarter staff. Yeah, yours is exactly the same. We don't want that. Nothing else here matters at all. It's all the same. Uh, ooh, poison. Let's give you the poison. Does this have a sort function? Now, Lar did Larian put a sort function in the inventory? Oh my god. They did! 
<laughs> they did. They are the gods of RPGs. Silver locket. That's pretty. I'm wearing that. You can have that one, Shadow Heart. Alchemist Fire. Void Bulb. Torch. Okay. Oh, very nice. I think we looted everybody. Let's go back in that previous room. I wasn't expecting to fall through the damn ceiling and start in that fight. That was completely unplanned. And not tactically advantageous to me. Is there anything behind... Now, is the, can I do this? Is there anything back there? Larian likes to hide stuff under things. A row of books. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Stack of books. Another stack of books. Anything in the wooden crate? Nothing. Shabby wardrobe. Rags, scruffy vagabonds, rags. I'm gonna take everything until I can't anymore, and then I'm gonna find a merchant and sell everything. The curse of the vampire. Oh, you can turn the lights on. Ooh, I like that. Little details like that are beautiful. What is that mm, mirror right there? I have to put my hands on everything. Still me. Even after everything. <laughs> Alright, let's go outside. Only level 2 after 5 hours of gameplay. The max level in this game is 12. So you're not going to get super high levels very quickly. It's going to take a while. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and sail. Save. Make a new save. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Um, lock picking impossible. Maybe we ch do something with the candles. No. Worth the shot. Must be a switch somewhere or something. All right, uh, let's go explore this room. Originally, they only wanted 10. Yeah, you got to have 12 because 12, you get the other stat points and stuff. Well, they could always do expansion packs later that extends the um, level uh, cap. If it does well enough and they want to, they could make a whole sequel. This room seems very suspicious. Something about it is... Hmm. I love turning on the lights. It's so pretty. Take the book. The unclaimed. See, stack of books. Death and Divinity, Curse of the Vampire. There must be just be common books everywhere. The Unclaimed, Mortal View, Eyewitnesses of the Bale Spawn Crisis. The Unclaimed again. Yeah, this is very Larian where they just have tons of detail in the environments. Uh, turn, like turning on the brazier and watching the fire go, it's... That's beautiful. Lots of little nice touches. Oh, I love that. So much to loot. Check the books. More books. More. Grab the unclaimed. 
In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited uh, for the Lady of Lost to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in the colorless gust, but no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instruction in her ear. No guidance prof uh, proffered proffer itself upon the bleached and barren sky. Time and material time passed around her like air, coming and going. And still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kelamor pitied her, as much as the lord of the dead is able, but could not inter intervene. The cleric of the lady of loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That of not forgetting, but of being forgotten. Ooh. Ooh, that's some powerful stuff. Another step forward. Does Baldur's Gate 3 have any replayability? Uh, do you mean replayability gimmicks? Or... Because just being a good game is a reason to be replayable. Ink Pot, Quill. But this game has lots of endings, lots of different character choices. Lots and lots of ways to alter the story. That so, be worth it. Ooh! A lever? Pull that. That opens something. Okay. But yeah, this game is designed to like have so many choices that you'll never see everything in one playthrough. You'll have to play through multiple times to see everything. The Twitch plugin is amazing. What the hell? It is so good. Other companies need to make extensions on the level of this game's extension because it's just really, really nice. Oh, oh my God! I'm being like I'm I'm oblivion saving. I forgot it's not gonna crash every couple seconds. What is in here? Light the candles. I'm hearing some like noises in there. What is that? A dank crypt. Uh oh. Journal updated. Explore the ruins. Uh, main quest find a cure. Strange door led deeper in the ruins. There are bound to be some interesting artifacts down here. Found a locked door, but in a keyhole. Go back. I wasn't done with that previous area yet. Just in case we get locked out, I want to make sure we got everything. Candle. I don't see anything there. Let's go over this way. One bandit came from this room. Let's see what's over here. The Book of Final Breath. Dense rows of scrawled text. A few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this. It's Mo Maj Pincher Laboratory Explosion. Hmm? Hoth Cress, waylaid in Neverwinter Alley. You're blocking my light. Deanna Ree, Waterhaven, Featherlung. Are those Kickstarter backers? That's That seems like Kickstarter backers. It's dark in this corner. I like that a lot. All right, let me um equip a torch here. Aha, now I can see. That's so cool. We have a vase. Nothing in there. Ancient scroll. A moldering scroll containing what remains to, seems to be an ancient ritual. Ancient ritual. Uh, ritual, let's have the... Um, wizard read that through the bloom of mold and legible le leached the ink from most of the scrolls beginning the ceiling ritual 
Our God cares not for the petty for petty ritual. There is only the stealing. It is vital that we observe it with, with extracting reverence. On the day of the sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is secreted. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death of our god. Okay. Someone a little dramatic. Alright, let's see. Looking ahead. Don't see anything else in that corner. Swift as my feet can carry me. Light the candle. If there's t toggleable lights in a place, I will turn them all on. All right, what's down this way? I see a chest. Gold cup plate chalice. Dried sausage links. Oh, cheese. It's a big block of cheese. Supply pack. No more worship. No more prayers. Carafe of wine. Carafe of water. For? Normally the patron god is obvious. Not here. Uh, let's see. I know we got a big ass cheese. Ink and quill. Uh, some gold. Some shelves. Nothing there. Water, bottle, spoon. Here, nothing. Yes, it's kind of like the Paladin bringing the divine light to the darkness. It's very metaphoric. Nothing there. Like that. Cheese wedge. Uh, what's over here? A candle. Another plaque. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. So we can't translate it. Interesting. Surely Paladin won't steal from the innocent. Of course not. A righteous warrior. Don't steal from the weak. Only the evil. Stack of books. I must fund my holy crusade, though. I need finances. To... It's expensive to save the world all the time. What's that door? Oh, okay. Go back that way. All right, so we found... Oh, the bandit's key. Okay, that's what that was for. I guess the only place to go is in this little chamber over here. Don't steal. Dan doesn't steal, he confiscates. <laughs> yes, it's donations to my cause. I just take donations, that's all. Lots of them. All right, let's make another save since we're about to do this part. I don't know what's gonna happen in here. Oh, I forgot to record. No, I don't know where I last. I don't know how long ago that was. Oops. Oh well. Well, I'll just have to download it from from Twitch. This place wasn't built for the living. Oops. <laughs> I sometimes make that mistake. Oh well. Be careful about walking on stuff because that ended badly last time. A chest. A ruby ring. It's so pretty. What's that vase? Nothing. On death and resurrection. Take that book. An excerpt from an ongoing meta-text rebound by Osava Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the meta-text. Her gods and all of lost and hidden knowledge. <clears throat> of what value is life far too a stoic a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely? Or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear 
that across all of the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of final uh, resting place that best uh, befits our deeds, beliefs, and situation life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelamar weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in return. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but a chance to retread it. Clerics across the realm wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of any of most mortals. I have intertwined uh, those who have made such a return, and in truth I have found them to be most dull and unimaginative sort that cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it, one, upon it oneself. Perhaps one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. Hmm. She's not wrong about some stuff there. Oh, this this ruin is so beautiful in its own ruined way. Heavy oak door. Chat, it seems very empty in here. I'm sure it's just gonna stay empty, right? Perception failed, why? Okay, back up, back up. Thank you, Shadowheart. There's a vent there. Shadowheart, um, you go first since you have really good perception. This way. So that's a trap right there. We do this not. Trap, that's also a trap. Oh no. Oh no, she failed another, another perception roll though. All right. Um. I'm gonna try to do a perception check as well. I might get lucky. Failed. Oh no. Failed again. When you fail, you know there's a trap there. They don't just like randomly have you fail perception checks for no reason. It's like when you're playing with a DM and he's like, everyone roll perception. Uh okay, we failed. Why did you we why do we do that? Uh, no reason. Just had you roll it for no reason at all. It's like, oh god, what did you do? Alright, um... Okay, who has decent wisdom? Any of you? Like it's will be done. There's no time to waste. Enough waiting. Okay. The Yankee, uh, Lazelle, she has okay oh wisdom. God. She can try a couple of perception checks, see if she gets it. Yeah, she found it. Nope. Alright, let's do a little quick save. Halberd, damn it. I'll take that. I'll leave the skulls. I don't think I'll need those. Okay, go ahead and. Another trap? A gargoyle head, oh god. This place is absolutely filled to the brim with traps. What the hell are they guarding in here? Ok, 
Okay, be very careful. Silver band. Studded shield. Okay, some bones. Leave the bones. A soul coin. These coins can power infernal engines. It's worth a hundred gold. And a flail. Odd. What merchant would accept such a coin? Uh, yeah, the game has three difficulty settings. The first one is like you don't want to, you want combat to be rather easy. You just want it to be sort of like, a, you know, there for story reasons to make you feel like you did something. Normal is basically normal D and D, and then uh, tactician is they add extra stuff, maybe extra enemies to make each fight really hard to really challenge you. Um, what's that plaque say? The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. All right, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna, Lizelle. Um, be careful. You enter turn based mode. The game is paused around. Your time is broke down into rounds represented by six seconds each. Turn based mode can be used to avoid traps, perils, or being spotted. <gasps> A magic weapon. The Watcher's Guide. And an engraved key. Black ink blots uh, the handle of the key. Found in the sarcophagus with a long forgotten temple. Are there enemies? Time for chatter. There is a door over there. Got the loot. Let's uh, move back. Heavy objects can be placed over vents. Oh, really? You don't go in there. You have too little health. Exit turn-based mode. Oh! Oh, God! She, it, she's fine! Everything's fine! This is okay! Chad, don't panic! Don't panic! Small trap! It's a <laughs> Everything's fine! It's okay! Calm down, chat! <laughs> Dear God! Holy shit! Um That is very cool looking though. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So every two, third turn, there is a massive explosion. Right. Um. Well, let's head this way. Yeah, I think if we block the vents, the some of the explosions will stop. We'll keep that in mind. What's in the what's in here? Dan's taking the engraved key from Lyzel using magic pockets. Ugh. 
Magic Pockets is such a great item from Divinity Original Sin. Alright, um... Lizelle... I'm gonna go ahead and... These and things have stayed interesting. Give you a little bit of a heal. Just so a trap doesn't take you out or something. Quick save. And let's see what's in this room. I see undead. Lots of them everywhere. Okay, um. This is fine. Everyone's a little beat up. So there's one skeleton, two skeletons. Three. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe we might want to get a long rest before we do this. That's a lot. There's a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it's long rest time. Cuz that's a lot of stuff. Oh, you, you set up your campsite. Oh, in the dungeon, and then it looks like the dungeon when you... Oh, that's such a nice effect. So it's not just the camp every time. Your camp changes depend on, depending on where you are in the world. Now that is ultimate immersion. I love that. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break. Great. 